We will now start discussing the statistical description of systems of particles. Uh, in order to do that, what we do is we uh, combine statistical considerations with the laws of mechanics uh, that are applicable to the particles. And the resulting theory we get is called statistical mechanics. So basically we have statistical considerations and we use laws of mechanics applicable to these particles and we obtain the branch of uh, physics called statistical mechanics. And there are some essential ingredients uh, in the statistical mechanics. So what are those ingredients? Let's list them. Uh, we have specification of the state of the system. So that's the first uh, task. Specification of the state. And what do we mean by that? For example, uh, we're tossing a set of coins, uh, four coins, for example, I give you the state, head, 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 tail, tail, head, head, etc. So this defines a state of the system. Um, then we need to form a statistical ensemble statistical ensemble and remember statistical ensemble means we have a set of similar systems uh, and ideally the number of similar systems should be infinite and what we achieve by producing the statistical ensemble is that uh, we have, uh, we, when we perform the experiment on the statistical ensemble, we get the fraction of the systems that are exhibiting a particular outcome. So we get the relative frequency of the occurrence of an event that we call probability. So this will allow us to op uh, obtain set of probabilities. Uh, for example, you, your system may be consisting of uh, three coins and you form an ensemble uh, N similar systems. So we have uh, three coins, three coins, three coins, and there are N of them. And for each um, subset of this ensemble, we observe an event head, 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 tail head, etc., head, tail, tail, etc. And then we look at the number of occurrences of the particular outcome. R is the outcome index. Uh, and we look at the number of systems that give us the particular outcome and divide it by the number of systems in the ensemble 
this gives us the probability of that particular outcome. So for each outcome, we have a, a probability that's assigned to it. And we have some statistical postulates that can help us. Statistical postulates. These are things that we assume about the uh, distribution of probabilities. For example, uh, a priori, so to start with, we can assume that for this experiment of tossing a coins, a set of coins, each coin has equal probability of landing head or tail uppermost. And where does this postulate come from? Well, uh, the center of mass is right in the middle. The mass distribution is uniform on the coin and there so there is no preference for being up or down uh, when we consider the uh, the tossing of the coin so from symmetry arguments we can say that um, the probability of being up and down uh, up or down uh, or head or tail uh, should be the same and finally, when we have this set of probabilities assigned to each possible outcome, uh, we have some probability calculations that we talked about. And these calculations basically give us uh, some information about the uh, particular outcome of the experiment. So we can calculate the mean value, we can calculate the dispersion or variance, and we can calculate the standard uh, deviation, which will tell us uh, what is the most likely outcome of the experiment done on, uh, on this uh, system of particles. So, in summary, uh, we can give a statistical description for a system of particles by considering statistical um, calculations and laws of mechanics together that gives us statistical mechanics. For uh, such a statistical description, we need a specification of the state of the system. Uh, for example, initial conditions or the state of the system that we would like to reach. Uh, we form a statistical ensemble, uh, we perform the experiment n times with similar systems that give, uh, gives us the relative frequency of the uh, possible outcome that we're considering. So when we look at the number of systems that give us the outcome we would like divided by the total number of systems in the ensemble, as the number of systems in the ensemble goes to infinity, that is basically the definition of probability. Uh, we may have some statistical uh, postulates a priori. For example, we can say in the set in the experiment of tossing coins, each coin has equal probability of landing a head or tail uppermost because of the symmetry arguments, the center of mass is in the middle, the mass is distributed uniformly, etc. And we can finally make some probability calculations uh, based on the probabilities that we assign to each possible outcome. We can get the mean value, dispersion and standard deviation of some of the uh, measurables of the system.